what's going on guys medicine in three minutes back here with another video and today we're going to be talking about kawasaki disease so we're going to go over its definition its causes its symptoms and its treatments so let's get started okay so usually it affects uh, children under five years old uh, it affects boys um, it is a self-limited disease which means uh, it generally uh, resolves six itself or uh, heals in about six to eight weeks and 25% of it uh, contains heart complexions. Now when it comes to the physiopathology, um, there is an inflammation of the large and medium sized vessels, the coronary vessels. Um, the immune system attacks uh, the arteries and the cause for this is unknown. However, uh, the endothelium of blood vessels are damaged which does, which does lead to exposure of the collagen. Now, uh, exposed material cause, uh, causes coagulation and blood clots, uh, which leads to coronary aneurysms. So that's important. And it's important to note that aneurysms can cause uh, ischemic infraction, infarctions. Now, um, when it comes to Kawasaki disease, it is important to remember the term crash and burn. So this means... Um, C for uh, conjunctivitis, R for rash, A for adenopathy, S for strawberry tongue, H for hands and feet, which are red, and S for swollen, so that's crash, and then burn, which means um, if it's greater than 40 degrees Celsius, and if it's less than five days, then it's going to be fever. So here's a little... Uh, little uh, diagram to show you how it works so there's a conjunctivitis adenopathy uh, there is a burning fever and uh, see this is what the strawberry tongue tends to look like a very uh, reddish uh, pink red very dark color and obviously rashes and the hands and feet do tend to be a uh, very uh, red type of swole, uh, swollenness now um, the way uh, the way blood cells do increase um, there is no specific tests, but something that is recommended is anemia. Um, just to notice that the white blood cells are increasing and the ESR does increase is actually, there are high ESR, so this actually shows you that you're dealing with maybe Kawasaki disease. Or Kaw and um, uh, echocardiograms of coronary arteries are recommended. Now, uh, what is the treatment? So the treatment um, is basically, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's some effective therapies um, once the diagnosis has been made, um, either an IV, IG, or uh, aspirin, but this does, but with the ASA, this does risk um, a possibility of Raya syndrome. So yeah, uh, don't forget to check out uh, this amazing book called Bushwick Gardens in Eden of the Pacific. Uh, it is actually a book describing uh, the gardens in British Columbia, Canada. It's actually a really amazing book. It really um, shows the nature in, in that whole region, in that beautiful province. Yeah, I definitely highly recommend it. There's some amazing photography, some beautiful poetry. Yeah, definitely go check it out. It really shows you uh, really the beauty that you can find in uh, Victoria, B.C. So that about sums up this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Make sure to like, subscribe if you're new, uh, leave some comments, let us know if we did anything wrong, if there's anything we can fix. Uh, if you'd like to support us, just make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Have an amazing day.